I'm Nikki. I live in Barry in the Vale of Glamorgan. I am a foster carer for Foster Wales Vale of Glamorgan. I've now been fostering for just over seven years. Everything changed. We moved from London to Barry for a quieter, more peaceful kind of life and then started fostering. So turned that on its head, but in the most wonderful way. I think we just felt we could, given the right support, be able to support others. That ability to give an opportunity for growth, for learning, and you know, I've got plenty of tales of things that haven't gone right, but the things that have gone right counterbalance those. My daughter, bless her, is a rock and comes to my fostering aid as well as my sort of like mum aid. It is really important. I know that I have been able to be there for the young people that have come through um, my parents' house in a way that sometimes my parents can't be. As a younger person, someone who can relate to their youth experiences from similar age. But I've definitely learned patience and understanding and not everything happens with the click of the fingers. It's incredibly rewarding. It's hard. You know, I, I don't pull any punches about that. There are, there are things that sometimes you think you can't get through, but the rewards far, far outweigh that. I, 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 I you know, I, I do emergency placements anyway. My emergency placements kind of went through the roof, particularly in the first, first lockdown, that first six to eight months when everything was un unknown and, and the support, uh, it, it was really hard, you know, um, there's only so much soul searching you can do on Zoom. <laughs> I'm super, super excited that we're, we're going to start face-to-face -face support groups again, <laughs> it's like woohoo, it just feels like an awfully long time. So the choir is a collaboration between Wales Millennium Centre and Voices from Care Cymru, a place to come together, have peer support, share their experience, but also just build that confidence. We need to make sure that the voices of all of our young people are being heard and to come back together and to discuss that in a safe place. The choir is such a great opportunity to do that. Well, it's a community and it makes you feel part of something and like they're always welcoming, they're easy to talk to and they're not judgmental either. People are a lot more understanding than maybe if they were like a care experience and we celebrate like care experience young people and like we say we're proud that we are care experience, it's made us who we are. Somewhere safe to go, this is my tribe, this is my village, they get me. It's safe, it makes it a safe space. It means that behaviours are understood, reactions to, to things are understood, there's, there's a given. Everyone needs someone and it's, it's really important for people to feel like they have a safe place and somewhere that they can be accepted to be themselves and they know as soon as they've got that one place that feels like home, they're just gonna come out of their shell. You're gonna see them flourish, you know. You're not judged, and it's very easy to be judged, to feel judged. Get to know us first. Don't judge us, get to know us first. It's not all, it's not like it is on TV. It is not like it is on TV. you can make a difference, because you can, absolutely. And it doesn't take much to be able to make that difference. It's about seeing a young person get an apprenticeship. It's about, you know, a birth mum being able to say, I'm sorry, and let's change. They are those little rewards. It's important to foster for your local authority um, because we, we've got the guardianship of our children. We know the backgrounds um, of often the social workers have been working with those families for a long time so we know how they work or we, we know what they've experienced and because then we know our foster carers we're able to make those matches really well. They're the ones that have your back and the young person's back for no better reason than 
They want to make sure that everybody is safe, happy and healthy. I would hope that in some small way I've given the young people that have come through our lives a little bit more resilience, a little bit more courage to go out there and be who they want to be.